On the front of the engine again, we've got now the keeper plate, or the thrust plate, for the camshaft. Put some oil on. Pop them on. Like that. Doesn't matter really which way it goes on. Next we're going to put some bolts in, and these have got tab washers on. Locking washers. I'll have to find out what the torque is for those because they're only quarters, quarter bolts. We'll put those on. That should ride nicely. If you ever get problems with threads, you know, like this, it's really, if it's a bit tight, tap them out. Just don't take any chances. Because the last thing you want to do is bugger up a thread and something like this. So I'm going to find out what the torque is. We'll come back. Well, naturally, there was no torque value for those little bolts. And they were metric after all. I think they were M6s. So... All I did was just tighten them up with a little spanner. Just, just to nipped them up with a key. I was trying to find it, I thought I had it in my pocket. And now we're going to nip over. I put the lock washers on here. There we go. So the lock washers are on there, look. So what we're going to do is just tap them over. We'll finish those off with a, a chisel. So they don't come off. And for the other side, I'm going to use an old wood chisel so we can get underneath that, that uh, tab washer and tip it up and lock it. Because otherwise the big chisel can't really get into it. Like that look. I would like it to go on that flat bit. That one's going to go on that bit there. We've got to look at that really good place. Oh, let me push the camera. Out. That one chisel. Should I do that? Yeah. That's better. Always lock those against the flat, if you zoom in, like trapped in your flat. Next, we're going to get the cam. So we're happy with that, we'll go and get the cam. I should have said cam sprocket, not cam. Very interesting how these go on. Please pay attention. It's got a multi keyway in here. Now this is for a petrol and a diesel. The petrol is marked with a P here. And also on the keyway here, there is a P. But when it comes to a diesel, you'll find that this is a vernier. That means you can alter the tooth pitch like the, to get the tension on the timing absolutely spot on correct by taking this off and moving it just one tooth, you know, like one keyway. And then you could alter the tension and alter the timing in the injector pump because the injector pump was critical. But on a petrol, well, it's not really a big problem because you can move it around a bit. So we're going to put the P on the keyway on here. Like, there we go. Just like that. Make sure it doesn't catch anywhere. Now, there's supposed to be a lot, there's a bolt here, and I think that's for the cam. That's right, and there's supposed to be a washer, but I'm not sure if there's supposed to be a lock washer, so I'm going to check. Well, I found out on the early engines there used to be a lock washer. In the parts diagram there isn't. It just says put a new bolt on with a uh, thread lock. So we're going to just put some thread lock on that. Well, we're going to tighten it up once we've got the timing chain on, which is here. Now, pay attention. Some of this timing chain is an endless chain. 
that means it's been riveted over and there is no split link. Now you've got to make sure if there is a split link in your chain that the open end, which way was it, the closed end goes in direction of rotation, not the other way around because they can actually pop off. Um, now again this is a brand new chain from our favourite supplier Britpart but there's no lubrication on that so we've got to use some light oil on this and get it lubed up while, when it's on but for now we're just going to put it on dry because we've got access to the outside and it's going to make it a lot easier to put the chain on instead of being sort of messy so we're going to take the pulley off we're going to put the sprocket on. Now I can't remember which side the sprocket went, but we're going to have a go. And always, always check the, the teeth and things like this. Make sure that there's no... The, 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 the chain wheel isn't hooked. Is that in line? We shall find out with a straight edge. I'm going to use the high precision brick part to ruler for this. So we make sure the cam's pushed back, put it tooth to tooth, that's good. It's got a step on here, uh, the larger step goes towards the back. If not, we'd be cockeyed if you see what I mean, we'd be like that. So that's good, happy with that. Better put that back in its uh, safe spot. Now the tensioner. Now I haven't done one of these for a long, long time. So let's have a look. See what we've got here. I stripped this down earlier and I cleaned it. And it is a kind of a complicated little piece of kit. Um, how does it work? You've got oil that goes through this passage here, which acts on a piston here that pushes the tension. Now you're going to think, well, when it loses oil pressure, uh, this, this is going to return. Well, it doesn't because there's a ratchet mechanism here to keep this in its place. It's a kind of a good piece of kit, but looks awfully complicated to make. So, we're going to fit this on. Now, I think I'll need a pair of side cutters back in the tip. Right, it is a complicated thing because you see there's a flat on here, it sits in this flat here. So you've got to line up quite a few bits and pieces at the same time. So forgive me if I make a complete balls of it. Right, uh, or should I put the tensioner on first? I think I'll put the tensioner on, not the tensioner but the slipper, I'll put the slipper on first. Right, I fitted the tensioner, I didn't quite have the right lock tab washers. Um, I forgot to order them, but I used the same tab washers that were on the cam. They'll do the job, and also I'll put some Loctite on them as well, so they won't come off. Alright, let's see about this, uh, fitting this unit on here. Put the chain on first. Now what we've got to realise is that the, the little mark here lines up with this bolt hole, the centre of this bolt hole, all the way through to the centre, and with this cam, uh, with this on top dead centre, so we can't really go wrong. I don't think anyway. We'll put that chain on like that, and we need to get that sort of tight. Oop, I moved it. So we need to get that tension just about right. Um, that's too far. Let's take it one tooth. Oh, that's good. That's good. You'd sort of eyeball everything upon this job. Yep. Now, huh. I'll put a bolt through there where there should be a nut. Now, this is going to be a, a real lot of fun because I've got a tire on there. Here we are. 
So now we've got to fight against some springs. Not much for them. And you can see there the tension's gone. slot. Has that moved? I'm going to check that line. Oh, that's good. That's good. That will made a mess of it there. So that's on there. Next, we'll work out this tensioner. So that goes there. Where does this one? Oh, that one goes at the back up. <laughs> they came on the, on the 2.5s and the two. Uh, they came up with a lot better tensioner idea. And that's that. That's that. There doesn't seem to be much in the way of uh, torque settings for these engines. It's very, very vague. Alright, so now I'll get a spring washer for there and come back and we'll take those bolts off. So that's what it should look like. It's all on there. Next thing, I'm going to push this tensioner with my fingers and tighten these bolts up here so we can get to the locking tab. Yeah, we can get to the locking tab there and just nip them up. Not too tight. I'm going to snap them off. And then, um, what am I going to do on this? Out the ideal pliers for this job. <coughs> now, the next thing to do is the cam, the cam bolt. Now, there is a torque on this one. We shall find out what it is. We'll put a pin through here and hold it tight. Tighten that up. Um, then that's it for that. Right, with the uh, timing chain all set up, the next job we're going to do is fit these uh, tappet. This is a tappet holder. Um, I've just put a little bit of oil on there just to help it down, but this piece doesn't move. All right. You just locate it in the block somehow with a hammer. There we go. Now these uh, bolts here do not have lock washers or, or in the earlier engines they used to be wired together. There used to be a little drilling in the, the head 
Uh, these rely just on a little bit of Loctite. So we put a little bit of Loctite or thread locker on there. We should call it thread locker because it isn't Loctite. We just start the bolt off, right? Just to just move it up and down with your finger, just to find the the place it wants to be. Don't put it in too deep. You'll see why. Put some oil in that can. Take the roller. Put some oil on the roller. Work it round with your finger. Drop the roller in. Then, most importantly, this is where a lot of engines have been lost. As I mentioned earlier, there is a front on here. Put some lube on. On the sides, make sure it's all lubed up. Front. Drop it in. Push it down. And then we can just nip up these. Now there is a top for them, but I find just nipping them up is good enough. You don't need to do monster tight because you can snap them off. <coughs> That's all it needs. Alright, so I'm going to get on with these and then. We'll come to this exciting bit for this section, this hel helix drive for the um, distributor drive. And it's not fun. Back shortly. Now, I might have made a childish schoolboy type error, but when I fitted this uh, bolt here, it didn't have a washer on it. And I was saying it didn't have, need a washer. Well, apparently when I fitted all the rest, they had washers. Now. This is the sort of washer, it's a little aluminium washer and there's only three in the packet and I think that's what threw me. <laughs> Why didn't they put the washers in? There was only three so I've used the old ones again. I put some thread lock on but the thread lock will act as a uh, something to stop the oil getting, like a seal to stop the oil getting through so I'm not too worried about that. But they've all now got washers on, they're all tightened down, that section is finito, finished. The next thing we're going to fit this miserable item here. Now, we're going to use some very light oil in here first. It's the drive for the um, camshaft, for the distributor or the distributor pump, whichever it is. It also drives in here the oil pump. So, a lot of people make a mistake when they take this piece out, inadvertently, that what happens is that you're trying to put this helix down, right? And you've got to the inside here, right at the bottom, there is a master spline. Now we work off that master spline just there, and that fits in at the engine. When it's in its good position, this is at top dead center, this is at 20 degrees. It points over here to this bolt ish, all right? Otherwise, you'll get out of line for your distributor, all right? Now, it's far easier to put this in now, rather that's why we didn't put the sump and the oil, oil pump on, because then you're going to have to try and align this and the oil pump shaft on that spline at the same time. It's really difficult. So let's get oiled up, let's get set up, and we'll see how it goes. So I've turned the block around, turned it to top dead centre on its firing line, and why you, you know, like it, it's, a, it's a tricky one to install because there's a little grub screw that goes in here through this hole here in the oil filter housing. Now, on the 2.25, the diesel, or the 200 TDI, it's got the same idea in, but it doesn't really matter where you put this because uh, there's no, no, there's no distributor, there's just a vacuum pump, so that can go anywhere, if you see what I mean, and it's irrelevant, so it makes life a little bit easier. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. Right. Now, what we've got to do is work out, when we drop this in, where this is going to end up. In fact, I might have to put the engine the other way, because it's, it's dropping down, so let me get set up. I'm going to insert the uh, gear with a pair of locking pliers 
so I can see directly opposite where the tang is. And like I say, the, the main drive is, it has to be at 20 degrees. <laughs> now, what's, what the tricky part about this is, is when you put it in and it's going to screw down, this little chap here moves out of the way. So even though you think, oh, I'm going to put it in like that, by the time you pull and turn it round, that's going to move, that little hole. So we've got to try and compensate for that. I don't know if it's going to work or not. If it does, it's a miracle. Yeah. Right, let's just have an initial... Need a flashlight to I'm see. one tooth out. So lift it up, turn it back one tooth, and then screw it down. Oh no, I've gone the wrong way. No, I've really gone the wrong way. I see what's happening. My, uh, my grips there are holding it back. Talk amongst yourself while this bit's going because it's it is very most frustrating. So after a good hour of messing about, <laughs> I actually got the screw lined up and the the uh, slot in the right position. But the lo most of that time was actually looking for the grub screw that went in there. Now I was swore I had it in my pocket, you know, ready to put it in. <laughs> and of course, remember I had my torch out, the old flashlight there, looking at where it was. I I forgot this had a magnet on the end and it was stuck on the end of the magnet in my pocket. Right, what a muppet. So, put a bit of Loctite on there. Not that it needs it because it can't go anywhere. We make sure that the bush is still lined up. Screw it in. Now there is two different types of this screw. There's, uh, this is a metric screw. I was going to make one, that's how I knew. <laughs> Give it a nip up. And now that is set at its right height, if you see what I mean. So let me take the camera off and I'll show you where it should be. So there we are, that's in its right position. The master spline, which you can see probably there, is pointed over here. So that's good. So the next thing we can put the covers on the sump, the oil pump. But we'll do that in another video because this has dragged on quite long. So we'll see you later. Bye.